cool, Mommy. That's cool. <laughs> I did button. Do you see the button? Button. Can you press the button? Good job. Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. In today's video, we are going to be decorating my house for Halloween. Now I do have separate boxes of Thanksgiving and other fall decorations, but we are gonna be keeping these for more of like the month of November and even trickling into December. But in today's video, we're using more of my spooky yet still child-friendly decorations. So I took my decorations out of the box and just kind of organized them by which room I planned on using them to decorate. And this just made it a lot easier for me to go and decorate one space, go get the next group of supplies, and then go to my next little area in the house. So the first area that I planned on decorating was our dining room table. Now on the lights above our dining room table, I actually have these clear little hooks that I like to hang things from. So for Halloween, I usually use these little witch hats. One area that I typically like to decorate whenever there's a holiday or a special occasion is my glass board. And so even though we have some of Aubrey's homeschool stuff up on the board, I thought it would be nice to just decorate the bottom by drawing some pumpkins and gourds and just kind of give it a nice fall and Halloween themed look. Now I am curious to see when you guys decorate for Halloween. I tend to wait until October just because my daughter has a birthday in September so I'm usually decorating for her birthday party and then it takes me a while to usually like take everything down, clean the house, and I like to have like a week or two of just kind of like a blank slate for my house before then Halloween decorations get up and that's why I typically wait until like the first week of October but let me know if you guys decorate in September. I, I think some people even go into August and like decorate then but that's just way too early for for me so let me know down below in the comments. Now for the table itself I picked up this little Halloween themed table cover from the Dollar Tree and if you are not new to my channel you know that my son likes to damage things fairly quickly after I open them so I do also have this table protector that I picked up from Walmart a while ago that I plan on putting on top of the Halloween table cover and my hope is that this table cover on top of the other table cover will keep it nice and hopefully last until Halloween. Now because I do have a boy who likes to kind of mess with things, I don't typically decorate the top of my kitchen table. And so I initially thought, well, if I just put this heavy pumpkin, you know, at least maybe it'll keep the table cover, you know, in place. And then I felt like it needed a little bit more. So I took some of this kind of green spider webby type material and wrapped it around the pumpkin. And then I felt like it still looked just kind of lame. So I broke out some of this little black spooky fabric thing that I got from the Dollar Tree and laid that out as well. It's not elaborate and maybe when my kids get older and they respect things a little bit more I can do something more elegant and nicer on this table but for now this is more than I usually do and I'm happy with it. So let's go ahead and move into the kitchen. I have some little Halloween towels that we're gonna drape on our oven. And I recently took the kids to the library where we made some cute little like sticker foam crafts. So I took those and I hung them around different cabinet handles as well as the little window shade in our kitchen. For our sliding glass door, I had these little spiders that light up that I got at CVS last year. They were on clearance. I made sure to go shopping after Halloween was all done so I could score some, you know, nice things at like half the price for this year's Halloween. I originally thought I would put these on our kitchen window to keep them away from the kids, but when they saw just how fun they were, I knew that the kids would enjoy being able to press the buttons and watch them light up. However, that comes at a risk because even, I guess, this morning as I'm recording this voiceover, 
Jack broke off one of the legs of the spiders and Juan had to kind of like burn it and, you know, stick it back on. So anytime that he is within reach of a decoration, it's likely that it will get broken. So obviously, you know, it came at a risk at putting these spiders on this glass door within kid reach. But I do still think that the kids enjoy, you know, being able to play with at least one of the decorations. <laughs> Is it spooky? Oh, hi. Thank you. Hmm. Where's the end? Where's the goat? It's a ghost. Look. And pumpkin. Ghost and pumpkin. Go on, pumpkin. Okay, can I can I decorate now? Pumpkin up down. And the end up. So, all done. <laughs> no, all done. It's all done now? Okay. These little windowsill decorations are also some things that I got from CVS on clearance last year. At Dollar Tree, I also saw this cute little Happy Halloween sign. It came in two separate pieces, but what I ended up doing was just attaching the end of the Happy Ribbon to the beginning of the Halloween Ribbon, creating a nice long Happy Halloween decoration, and I hung it from the clear hooks that I have at the top of our kitchen cabinets. Another area that I love to decorate is my pendant lights and for Halloween we're just going to be putting some fake spider webs around the pendant lights. I really like the spooky vibes that it gives. Similar to above our kitchen table, I have little clear hooks on the lights lining our hallway. And so here I also like to hang things. And in this case, we are going to be hanging these little ghost witches that were at Dollar Tree many years ago, and they still carry something very similar to it now. A new find at Dollar Tree this year were these little bird decor pieces. They really just kind of look like laminated black birds. And one nice thing about them is you can have them facing either direction. They look identical on either side. It's There's no like definite front and definite back to these birds. So I just took some blue painter's tape and put it on one side of the bird. And then I attached the birds on the wall of our hallway. Let's go ahead and move on to our bathroom. I have this little wreath I made kind of at the start of my YouTube channel. And then I found some little plastic Halloween gift bags at the Dollar Tree and thought these would be perfect to cover our toilet paper with. I originally planned on using Halloween themed napkins to cover up these toilet paper rolls, but I couldn't find really like any Halloween napkins at the Dollar Tree, so I thought that this would work and they snugly fit into these bags. Had the toilet paper rolls not fit into the bags, I would have just cut open the bags and maybe overlapped one on another and then wrapped up the toilet paper rolls that way. On these shelves, I'm also putting a little ghost craft DIY that I made last Halloween, so I'll make sure to link that video up above. And then I'm filling in this glass jar with some other Halloween decorations and topping it with a little witch's pot that is bubbling over with that green spiderweb material that we used in the kitchen. Around my mirror, we're just putting some of this like wired decoration that was used to make the wreath on the door. And I have some clear hooks, but also just some push pins at the corner of my mirror that these kind of loop around. And I tend to put a lot of decorations like this around my mirror, and I really just like how it makes the mirror pop off the wall. My mom recently gave me some old Halloween decorations of mine from when I was like Aubrey's age, so I just kind of hung these around the house as well. Let's go ahead and move on outside. On our front door, I like to hang this little spider web that I got from the Dollar Tree. And then this year, I picked up two of these little pumpkins with witch hats and hung these from our lights.
And then we just have some like really old decorations that I put at our doorstep and near our entryway, along with a skeleton that is really just like the head, the arms, and the legs. At some point, Juan will hang our Halloween lights outside, or I might have to do it myself because he's been really busy. But aside from that, that is the extent of our Halloween decorations. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. And if you are new here, I would love it if you stick around and subscribe. I have a bunch of motherhood content. I love party prepping, so I have a whole playlist on that. We have other birthday parties coming up, so make sure you stay tuned and I will catch you guys in the next one. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.